Hello, Year 8. Uh, welcome to your art lesson. Um, apolog apologies to those who have already heard this type of message before, but I need to make sure that everyone is aware of what's going on. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing something similar to how we set up our folders, how I've set up your folders in ICT where you used to come into class, log on, open your folders and every lesson that is where you do your work. To make things easier, I've done the same for art as well. So your actual project that you're going to be doing is all going to be on one folder where you can access at any time and you can have a look at what the project, what, what's involved in the project and what the next stages are. You can even go back and improve on, on your work if you need to um, after, I give, after I've given you feedback. Um, so instead of giving you one-off lessons, um, learning different skills, um, I decided to make things a bit more fun. Hopefully you'll think um, the same, they are fun for you as well. Um, and I've started a new project for you. So this project is Pop Art T-shirt project. So in a nutshell, um, you're going to create a T-shirt design on the theme, uh, on the pop art theme, inspired by the pop art theme. Um, so let's look at what today's lesson is going to involve. Let's look at the learning objectives. Um, we're going to establish the purpose of the project, which I've kind of given you a quick brief about um, um, just a few minutes ago. It's about pop art, and you can use that um, inspiration to create t-shirt design um, you're going to identify different methods of research and you're going to identify the advantages and disadvantages of the different types of research which could be used now these two points um, that you can see I'm just highlighting um, these two points are very important because you need to understand the pop art theme the pop art movement before you can actually create a t-shirt design that's common sense if you don't know what the pop art uh, movement is, pop art theme, then how are you going to create a design based on the pop art theme? So this research me method is very important. And that is going to be the task of today. And if I move on to the next slide, and I'll just get my head out of the way, um, you can see that there's a brief. Um, and the brief is to design a t-shirt which reflects the work of the pop art movement, which we just spoke about. There are some examples on the board. Um, Again, um, I keep mentioning the board like we're in the classroom, but um, there are some examples on the slide that you can see of what pop art, um, what is involved in the pop art movement, an example of what they might look like. Um, as you can see on the board, it's, it, I would say it looks more of like a cartoon type of art that you'd see in a, mag in a, car in a comic or something like this. All right, so um, the actual task, if I just move on to the next slide, is this and this is all you don't need to go to any other slide apart from the first three slides so task one research methods um, you're going to write down six different research methods you could carry out and uh, uh, to find out more about the pop art movement so you have to ask yourself what things could i do what um, research methods do i need to do to find out more about the pop art movement so I'll give you some examples just to start you off with. If I was going to do this, I would think, okay, the first one is definitely um, very useful is the internet research online. I can find out um, information. I can look for examples online. Um, another one could be books. Now I can look at books based on the pop art theme. You might not be uh, able to do that right now because a lot of things are closed, but um, I just want to see if you um, understand the different methods you have. You can go to the library, check books out, um, newspapers, um, art galleries. So I've just mentioned about three there, four possibly. Um, bearing in mind, you will have contact with each other through Google Classrooms. So you can help each other out. There's no problem. This is not like a test um, where you can't speak to each other. Help each other out. Uh, maybe there's, Maybe one of you will have three or four ideas and another one will have two. So maybe you can help and swap ideas with each other. There's no problem with doing that. But what's important is you, you need to complete those six um, methods down. Okay, so once you've completed those six methods, then you need to talk about the methods in a little bit more detail. So the detail we're looking for is the advantages. 
So, um, we're looking at what advantages do these have? So I'll, I'll talk about one example. Now I said, I talked about the, say for example, um, a book, a book based on Papa. So an advantage of having a book is that you have all the information in front of you um, and um, it's quite detailed, you have pictures and it's quite convenient. You can carry it around as well. You might want to do your work in uh, other locations and it's easy to transport. A disadvantage is maybe gain access to that book. So if you're going to the library, maybe um, someone else has taken that book out and you want to have access. So that's, a, I've mentioned an advantage and disadvantage of having um, books related on Papa. So I want you to do the same thing for the other research methods that you spoke about. So, you know, re, um, disadvantage, advantage and disadvantage of um, online research, um, newspapers, um, galleries, art galleries. So you need to talk about those. So this is actually just your task. So just the task for today. Today's lesson is write down six different uh, research methods. And then from those research methods, you're going to write the disadvantages and advantages of uh, the research methods. And that's you, that's you done for today. And um, the rest of the slides, I'll be going through the next lesson. If you have any questions, uh, please do uh, message me and I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much.